Hey guys, how's it going? So I decided to talk about antiviruses because they don't seem to be quite as popular on Linux as opposed to Windows, but if any of you have ever used Windows, you probably have had good and bad experiences with them. Now before I start talking about my claim, I'll back up antiviruses by saying that they can be good at what they're meant for, and they are certainly more useful on Windows than on Linux. Despite this, I feel as though what's weighing antiviruses down is essentially themselves. What I mean by this is that antiviruses are bloated, and as if Windows doesn't consume enough memory by itself, they make matters even worse, especially for older hardware. Having your computer scheduled for a scan or having an antivirus be activated constantly can take a toll on your machine. On top of this, some antiviruses are difficult to turn off and can prevent you from installing software that you trust. While antiviruses may be free for the most part, most of them have paid versions which unlock more features so they limit your experience and the software's usefulness on purpose. Now this may sound like a conspiracy, but considering the fact that many antivirus software is not open source and has lots of control over your system, you may not only have bloatware installed, but even spyware. Ironically enough, your own antivirus may be spying on you and you wouldn't even know about it. Also, if an antivirus can find a suspected virus on your machine, you might have to install a different antivirus in order to detect it. But that's too much, although it does show how effective antiviruses can be, or at least the free versions. Now many of these claims are based off of my previous experiences with antivirus software when I used to run Windows, and if I were to have to choose one to recommend, it would be Malwarebytes. Although I would probably recommend not running an antivirus at all, but if you think you can use the web safely, then you really don't need it. But the reason for this is because even if a person has a good antivirus, they're going to keep getting viruses if they don't know how to browse the web wisely and avoid fishy sites. But it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Now on Linux, antiviruses are not necessary as Linux doesn't have nearly as many viruses that target it as much as Windows. Despite this, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't take your security seriously. I'd recommend using a firewall and having good browsing habits as mentioned previously, but if you're interested to look at antivirus software that's available for Linux, you can check out CHK Rootkit, Rootkit Hunter, ClamAV, Sophos, and Komodo. Now I'm sure there's even more antivirus software available, but these are the ones that I know of. Well, that's basically it for this topic. Let me know what you think of antiviruses in the comments, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more content because it really helps me motivate it to make more videos. And also, like if you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching.